So today we're going to be going to work with James, but we're not carpet cleaning today. We'll be taking the V10 up and uh, doing a little bit of RV share. Uh, this is my second rental, second rental, first one on the new trailer. Uh, the reason we're not taking the power stroke is it does not have a working trailer brake controller. The Bluetooth brake controller that I bought for it, don't buy one of those, it's garbage. Three, or two or three, I don't know what I'm on, I'm, I'm still waking up this morning. I lost all my running lights on the flatbed and uh, my parking brake cable snapped on the 7.3. I'd probably take it this morning versus this for how far a drive we gotta go. We're gonna be putting a lot of dollar signs out that tailpipe today. Uh, this thing gets single digits towing. I don't know what it gets. I haven't not towed with it. I don't know what it gets not towing, but this thing is just filthy. We gotta get in here. And this is how I got this pickup. Anyway, we got tire chains um, on the trailer. Uh, Kyle went with me the other night. I should have filmed some of that. I was just a little stressed. I'm feeling pretty confident this morning. Uh, we got tire chains on the trailer. We chained up. We were in uh, a complete blizzard. I should have filmed that. It was actually pretty cool. Complete blizzard. Bought brand new chains for that camp trailer. And I got chains for this pickup because none of my 285 chains will fit on the 265 tires that are on this truck. So I had to buy new tire. $150 worth of chains later. We're, uh, we're ready to go. Uh, brought a broom. Going up to a ski resort and they got lots of snow in the last couple days. Oh, I'll reach back for my seatbelt on this truck, it just kills my shoulder. It's a stupid design on these extended caps. But anyway, this V10's a lot more sure footed than the Power Stroke. I per personally, towing with Super Duties and the OBS trucks, I prefer towing with the Super Duty. They just, the frame is got, it's more rigid than the uh, OBS trucks. I love the OBS trucks guys, but the frame on the Super Duty is something to be, uh, to be had or said, said for. But we're gonna go get gas and I will catch you there at the gas station and uh, we'll head up to Bachelor. Gas prices are really starting to hurt. I feel sorry for you guys down in California. Yeah, we're we were up to like 375 a gallon. Now we're down to three <laughs> 353. So it's gone, it's trickling down slowly. I'm not get this fueled the rest of the way. We're already at forty one dollars. This thing is not I filled it up to take the trailer up there. It was a hundred miles round trip. So I'm guessing like 9.2, 8.7, somewhere in there for MPGs. I'm not even gonna calculate because I don't even wanna know. I'm gonna head over to the cruise in market across the way here after we get done with our gas. Get a body armor and a bottle of water. And um, we'll get back on the road. Ah, cold, beautiful day in Central Oregon. It's not a bluebird day like they called for, but um, you know, it is what it is. I was hoping for a bluebird day to kind of thaw the roads up there. I hope I don't run into ice. I'd rather have packed snow than ice, but got a full tank of fuel. We're heading to the mountains. Off to the races, guys. Not really. I lost a cylinder. I'm wondering if it's the one we fixed. I'm sitting here at a stoplight and it's shaking. It's been driving from Redmond to Bend. It's been dry. The last 15 miles has just been garbage. Just hot garbage. There's a Lowe's up here. I'm going to pull into the parking lot and start wiggling some wires. Maybe something came loose, an injector or something. It's just the. Yeah. It's intermittent. It's chug, yeah, it's in and out, in and out, in and out. I think it's a wire, bad connection. Maybe on that coil we fixed it. You know, the wiring harness did break, so. She'll pull it on, she'll pull it on nine. It's not gonna be happy. I'm gonna burn a lot of freaking gas, but she might do it on nine. Can't hurt it. 
Put a Cummins in it. <laughs> this would be a bad swap, actually. I don't see any. It feels tight. We're just gonna have to wing it. Well, we didn't solve anything. Um, beautiful snowy day here in Bend, Oregon. Um, we're on nine cylinders, guys. I'm gonna, when I lock in my hubs here on South Century, I'm gonna get out one more time and sh I'm gonna shut the engine off. I'm gonna reach in there and unplug the coil pack, a couple of the coil packs, replug them back in. Um, try that. I'm just, it feels like I've got enough power to pull the heavy camp trailer home. Um, I got my brother in law on backup though i was gonna i told him i'd call him once i got down into bend it's all downhill from the ski resort i think there's one little grade but we'll just go overdrive off and send it i hate roundabouts this is the capital of roundabouts in the in a u.s i think this city has more roundabouts than any other city in america and it it's annoying it it is really annoying these roundabouts nobody uses them right you're supposed to go slow so people have a time you know chance to get out nobody uses their turn signal um it's annoying you just kind of have to cut people off it's the old mill district in bend oregon lots and lots and lots of money right here I'll tell you that much all right guys i'm gonna put this down there is some spots of ice here focus a little bit i'll, I'll get a hold of you i'll bring you back on here in a minute Alrighty guys, that's Mount Bachelor in front of us. Um, this is kind of my uh, territory for snowmobiling too up here. I'm so excited. We finally have snow to go play in. Um, normally by December, I've gone out a couple times, but this is this is just in the last couple weeks, all this snow is no snow. There wasn't even snow on that mountain a couple, couple three weeks ago. Um, about four weeks ago actually but down here where we're at this is about two weeks of snow uh, still we are on nine cylinders under the hood guys not good I have no other choice I can't go back to the house for the power stroke at this point and I don't want it to I'd rather tow with this with a dead cylinder uh, it feels like I got plenty of power it's basically I feel like I have a 5.4 now instead of a V10 so um, I got out, I wiggled the wires, I unplugged the injector for the cylinder that we fixed, and nothing changed, so it's got to be that coil, and that was a used coil that I put back in there out of the, uh, four, one of the 4.6 engines. Um, so, with that being said, guys, I'm just taking it easy, I'm not even doing, I mean, the roads are spots, ice, and stuff anyway, I'm not even rocking in two, she's pretty stable. Uh, I don't have my seatbelt on, I know. I should probably put that on. I've been in and out of the truck, though, a couple times. I've stopped a couple times trying to wiggle wires, thinking it's a wiring issue, but I think I just completely lost a coil. She's a pooch going uphill right now. It's going to be interesting once I get... Once I get the trailer behind here, it's going to be slow going on the way home, which I'm going to do anyway coming off this mountain. Uh, there's chains on the trailer. We're going to have to take the chains off. It's... I'll ruin those chains and probably ruin the camp trailer if I leave those on. So no chaining today unless we need to chain the truck up to get it out of the parking lot. So I'll catch you when we get up there, guys. Bachelor Ski Resort. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Too bad it brings a bunch of, uh, never mind. Be nice, James. Busy up here today. Nobody works anymore. I'm up here working today. I'm not up here. I'm just, man, I want to go home and get a snowmobile so bad. Uh, man. All right, I got to figure out how to navigate. I'm not, this is going to be fun getting my trailer out of here. Holy cow. 
if he tried to make it. Alrighty, guys. Well, I could not film coming off the mountain. I couldn't film. I went really quick. I actually got the trailer hooked up and jacks up, and I was back on the road in like 30 minutes. I'm dealing with bin traffic right now. We are having intermittent uh, tenth cylinder now. I mean, it comes and goes as it wants. At the moment, we don't have it. Um, yeah, I got the Outback behind me. She's a big girl. She's a heavy trailer. Um, it, but it's it tows nice for a heavy trailer. I'm not gonna complain. I I like my purchase. She's big, 35 footer. It is every bit that you want to pull for a camp trailer. I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds like garbage. It accelerates like garbage too. I don't know if it's an injector wire or if it's a uh, coil. I, I can't. Or if it's just a it's a coil wire. I I don't know because it to me if a coil goes out it goes out. It's not going to be intermittent, but who knows? I've never had one go in. Well, no, I've had intermittent coil problems on my truck mount. Now the the goal is to or the trick is to find which one it is and fix it. This traffic's ridiculous. All right, guys. I'll um, sorry. All right, I'll catch you at the house. All right, guys. It's the next day. I came out. It's cold this morning, and I fired it up. It's hitting on all ten cylinders. It's got to be a bad coil. When it gets hot, the coil goes south. Oh, there's starting to miss. Son of a gun. All right. All right, guys. So we're gonna we're putting that off for right now. It's broken. I'm gonna have to. I've got other trucks to drive. So it came back dirty because of towing it on the outside. So I'm gonna have to pressure wash this, clean it up really good. Um, when it stops raining. Um, yeah, it got. Uh, got fairly dirty in the pole home that thing i'm pretty impressed for nine cylinders it got at home pretty decent i was doing 55 60 uh in front of it it's pretty dirty inside though my renters did did me a solid they really kept it nice this is actually for me coming in and out uh, getting the sheets off the bed but it looks like they didn't use it a couple nights um Big thumbs up uh, to that customer on not trashing my, my equipment. Uh, so basically all I need to do is finish making the bed in here, wipe down the surfaces, uh, clean the toilet, and uh, do a little cleanup on the floor, and we're good to go. So uh, rental number two was a success. Uh, I had a third one on the hook, but things didn't work out with the toy hauler room. He wanted to haul a couple BMW motorcycles, and we did, took some measurements of this room, and it just was going to be too tight for him, which I understand. And it was going to be, I've got a 1,000 pounds max up here in the front cargo area, and it was going to be like 1150, so it was going to be 150 pounds over, which they built, they those numbers, there's not not accurate you know they always fudge it a little because they know you're gonna fudge it a little so give this video a big thumbs up comments they do go down below hit that subscribe it was a fun video <laughs> stressful getting this off the mountain i don't think i'm gonna do a mount bachelor uh getaway again unless it's like for like multiple longer days i raised the price on this i was too cheap I jumped up my delivery charge. $158 wasn't enough to deliver and pick this up. So uh, we, we went up to $300 on, uh, well, $275 uh, within a 50 mile radius of home here. So, all right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. I got to work on the power stroke next. Probably start that video off. Um, I got some brake cable shenanigans going on. And if you watched my seat failure, if that video has came out by now, I've got so many videos on the, the editor. Um, we're going to be putting a new set of seats in this truck as well. So until next time, guys, see you here.